Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to another Multichrome Monday. Today I will be finally doing swatch comparisons between all the different brands that I own of Multichromes. And this is a very long awaited video. I wanted to wait until I finished doing eye swatches of the brands that I have. So I just want to note a couple of things. One, I have not yet done eye swatches of the Baby Bat Beauty Multichromes but those are included in here. And another note is I will not be telling you which one is the best, but this will mostly be about color comparisons and you will also kind of get a hint of the formula, but I will be doing a separate video where I rank all these brands and the multi -chrome formulas. So stay tuned for that because that's where I will be talking more in depth about the multi -chromes and also how they compare to each other in terms of application, longevity, and just how they are on the eyes versus finger and arm swatches. And this will be an overhead video because you don't need to see my face in this. We're all here for the multi-chromes. And this way you'll be really able to see all the colors and the shifts. I will also be inserting natural lighting videos with my phone so we can compare even better because I can only capture so much with this DSLR camera. There's quite a bit to get through, so let's get started. So I have these separated into kind of what they look like straight on and then what their shift is from the angle. For example, these are purple, but they appear like lime green in the shift. These are pretty much like a red gold pinky tone and they shift gold to lime green. And these right here appear more teal, but they shift to a purple. So I just kind of have them grouped because it doesn't make sense to compare shades that might look the same straight on, but the shift is completely different. So I'm really trying to compare similar shifts. And these swatch comparisons that I'm going to be showing you today are between different kinds of multi-chromes, so they're not all just the more deep jeweled kinds of multi-chromes. There will be some more kind of lighter translucent formulas and some of the Cleona glitter multi-chrome. So I got my lights set up. I have one light over here and I have another light over here. And I'm actually going to be swatching right here because that's, I think, where you can see the shifts the easiest because of the bend. And I feel like when I swatch anything here, it's much harder to see all the shifts. So I'm going to be doing it here like I've kind of been doing in the most recent multi-chrome videos. So first we got Seaweed from JD Glow. Super pigmented. Then a Sydney Grace Chameleon Air. And this formula feels like it's a little bit more flaky than silky. Then Parthenos from Davina. Hopefully I don't run out of room in my hand. Then Trefoil from Cleona. And then Embroidery from Cleona. And I'm actually gonna sneak this one here. Gargoyle from Cleona. And Melanchite. I don't know how to pronounce that from Davina. So here we got the shifts. You can see that seaweed from JD Glow has much more of like a grass green shift. And from these, I think the most similar are the Sydney Grays, the JD Glow, and the Cleona, the Trefoil from Cleona. So this one, this one, and this one don't have like a blackened base. They're a little, they're still multi-chromes, but they're different. So the Davina ones just seem like they're a little bit lighter. Next are kind of the magenta purples that the shift to a bronze or a lime green. First is Rosette from Cleona. Next is A Lot from JD Glow. Then Ethereal from Baby Bat Beauty. That one needed some building up. Flame Blown and Gothic. And as you can see, Rosette has a blue shift in it, so it's not that close to these. But the rest of them are pretty close to each other. So while they all look pretty similar, 
some of the purples are just a little bit different tone so it kind of depends on what you're looking for and which kind of tone you prefer so jd glow is more of like a almost bluish purple while flame blown is more of a pinky purple and the baby bat is more of like a cooler toned and the baby bat sh and ethereal is more of a true purple and also flame blown shifts all the way to a lime green while a lot and ethereal look like they got more of like a bronze gold shift Next, we got the pinks to lime green. First up is No Way from JD Glow. Head Rush from Terra Moons. Twisted Shifter from Cine Grace. Smolder from Cleona. And Lucid from Baby Bat. These are all very similar. These are all very, very similar, with Cleona being the most metallic and pigmented. Other than that, they're pretty much the same in tone and everything, the shift. Next, we just got these two cute little ones. These are not the Jewel the Multicore formula, but I thought they're pretty similar in color and kind of a little bit in formula as well. This is Azure from Cleona. This is their new deep iridescent multichrome. And Messier from Divina. And from my angle, it actually looks like Messier has a much more reddish base and Azure has a more yellow base. And it's funny because they look completely different once they're swatched. Next we have these two teal shades and they shift kind of to like a blue purple or, or blurple. This is Kristen Lee Cosmetics Premonition in Castle from Cleona. And these are basically identical. I think Cleona is just a bit more metallic and pigmented and Premonition seems just like a little duller. Next we have this green bunch that shifts to a deep purple. Now this one is definitely a different formula. This is Verte. And it's from Cleona's new deep multi-chrome collection. So I don't suspect that it will be really that much similar, but I thought I would just throw it in the mix because it does have a very similar shift. First is Menelaus from Divina. Then Jewel Beetle from Baby Bat Beauty. To build it up a little bit. Anil from Cleona. That one looks pretty different actually. JD Glow Um. Terra Moon's Looking Glass. And Verte from Cleona. Yeah, it's not even close. Very light. Some of these are definitely more similar to each other than others. Cleona Anil. Anil has much more of a almost like 
true green lime green well jewel beetle um and looking glass are more of a teal but they all shift to a purple and then just a hint of kind of like a gold at a really extreme angle so i think um looking glass and jewel beetle are the closest here and from these, Terra Moons looks the most metallic and shiny with JD Glow following and then Baby Bat. Next we have these three and they look they look like a really beautiful yellow gold straight on but the shifts are actually a bit different. First is Celesta from Davina, then we have Weathered from Cleona, and Outlaw from Luxi. So you can see these are pretty different. Outlaw looks like it has a very black base and a lime green shift. Next we have these shades that I don't even know how to describe. They're kind of like a, almost like a dirty pink. <laughs> it sounds really awesome, but they're really beautiful. And they shift kind of gold, lime green. First is Weld from Cleona. Then Paralucha from Divina. Forge from Cleona. Ephemera from Baby Bat Beauty. Invictus from Luxi and Mirage from Terra Moons. These are all pretty similar. Of course, Davina's formula is a little bit different, and so it's much lighter. It's almost a little bit translucent, and I think Terra Moons, the pink is just like a lighter pink. And Invictus looks, again, like it has quite a bit of a black base. Some of these are pretty similar to each other. Forge, Ephemera, and Invictus, for sure. With Forge and Invictus seem to be the most metallic. And I think Cleona Weld is just a little bit different in tone. It doesn't shift quite as pinky purple as the others. So next I have these three kind of purpley shades. Two are from Divina and one is from Cleona. And these seem pretty similar in the pan. First is Morphine from Divina. Then Shard from Cleona. I do need to kind of build all of these up a little bit. And then Skyla from Divina. So you can see Skyla is very, very pink. While the other two are more purpley pink. So I think Morphine and Shard are pretty similar, but... And even in kind of the formula, they feel like really sparkly. Next we get some beautiful deep teals that shift to deep purples. First is Papillo from Divina, Oculus from Cleona, Crown Glass from Cleona, and Anarchy from Luxi. Crown Glass is very similar to Anarchy. They're pretty much perfect dupes to each other. While Oculus has a much more teal green shift. And I think Papillo is pretty different from all of them. The shift is actually kind of hard to see.
Next up we have these beautiful kind of pinky purple shades that shift to a gold lime green a little bit, just a tinge. First up is Cygnus from Davina, then Magellantic from Davina, Torch from Cleona, Starfire from Davina, and Marpesia from Davina. Oh, this one's totally different. I did not expect that black base for some reason. So some of these are pretty similar, I would say, between the Davina and the Cleona. I think those are really similar, these three right here. Even just between the two Davina shades. I definitely think Magellantic and Torch are the closest, but I would say that the Cleona one is just a bit more sparkly. Getting down to our last two sets, next up are these kind of blue-purple shifts. There's quite a bit here, definitely some that look a little bit different, just even straight on, but we shall see. First is Amulet from Baby Bat Beauty. This one has like a weird hard pan on it. I'm just kind of swatching a little weird. Then I have Spire from Cleona. Vicious from Luxi, Alter Ego from Terra Moons. This one needs a little building up. Beer Guard from Cine Grace. And I'm running out of room here. I think I'm gonna skip out Lunette. It's just completely blue. So then lastly, we got Rosette. That one's super purple and pigmented. You can definitely tell that Vicious is really not pigmented at all and the shift is like impossible to see. It looks very dull. And even Amulet, it's it's kind of hard to see the shift. It feels a little bit similar to Vicious. While the two Cleona shades are just absolutely stunning. So, so metallic. Alter Ego and Rosette are very, very similar. And Beer Guard as well, but it's more of a blue than a teal compared to Alter Ego. Inspire has a more of a reddish pinkish shift versus like a gold or a lime green. Right, we are down to the last set of comparisons. We have made it. And these are kind of like, again, like a dirty pink, but they have a beautiful lime green, gold, and a little bit of copper in there too. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna fit all of these on one hand. I might have to cheat a little and go into my wrist. So we're gonna actually start from this end and start with Mosaic from Cleona. Firestorm from Baby Bat. Totally different formulas, obviously. Kiln from Cleona. Urgent from JD Glow. Very similar to Kiln. Rebellion from Luxi. Sand Blast from Cleona. And Phoebus from Davina. Very similar. But I would say that Urgent, Kiln, and Firestorm are the closest to each other. And then Phoebus, Sandblast, and Rebellion are closer to each other because Urgent, Kiln, and Firestorm have a kind of pinky purple shift, while Phoebus, Sandblast, and Rebellion have a more reddish, burgundy almost shift to a gold. But they're all pretty similar. As you can see, Kiln is just super metallic and pigmented.
And there you have it. Those are all the comparisons from what I could see when I was looking at these and picking out which shades are the most similar. There's definitely dupes within each of these. It seems like some of the brands that have smaller collections such as Luxe and Baby Bat Beauty, it, it seems like they have a kind of like a similar set of colors. I don't have all the Terra Moons, but I can definitely tell that some of the others that I don't have would dupe out some of these other shades from these other brands. So it seems like, but overall, I think that there's such a huge range of multi-chromes because there, there's just so many different shift combinations that are possible. So it seems like it's almost like an, an infinite amount of different multi-chrome shifts. And I think that's definitely something that's the most and I think that's something that's really just the most exciting part of multi-chromes for me so like I said in the beginning I'm not really going to be speaking up on the formulas I w did mention you know when I had to build them up a little bit and when I didn't so you can take that as you will but I think that the swatches themselves do say a lot but again swatches are different than what how the application is and just some of these seem like they're really beautiful and stunning but just they're not that great on the eye and that's something that I'm going to get into in a different video where I'm going to be ranking all the brands and their multi-chromes and talking about the different formulas and longevity and just really get into depth about which ones I think are the best and also I'm going to be touching up on value so the amount that you get versus the price because some of these are definitely more expensive than others and let me tell you you can definitely tell when it comes to performance on which ones are the more expensive and which are not. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was fun. I definitely really enjoy just looking at multi-chromes in general and just have a lot of fun swatching them. That's going to be it for this video. If you enjoy multi-chrome content, I do have a multi-chrome Monday playlist on my channel that I will leave up on the screen for you in case you are interested. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.